2K continues to keep shooting themselves in the foot because what began as excitement for season four NBA 2K22 content quickly turned to whatever the opposite of excitement is, panic? There was prominent content creators getting banned for boosting. And with the level 40 award and the legend award finally being announced and leaked, well, there was a lot to react to. Hey, if y'all new to the channel, man, be sure to subscribe. We drop content like this. So if you enjoy it, man, do yourself a favor. You'll be notified the next time I drop a video. If you want to see me cut up on Forza 5 with my racing sim, my VR headset. We do fun stuff like that on stream, on Twitch, twitch.tv slash callmeagent00. Otherwise, uh, I'm afraid to say it, but let's just get into it. All right, man, so first thing that happened was 2K released this patch note where I guess they changed some things getting ready for season four. They added some tattoo updates, and if you wanted to know if there was any gameplay changes, well, 2K is letting us know now they require you click the steal button to actually steal the ball. Interesting improvement because in previous patches, you can hold L2, and for some reason, your character will just snag the basketball so stealing lanes have been nerfed dramatically and it's better that way if you don't click square you don't deserve the ball interestingly enough that's it that's literally it the rest of the stuff is just vague stability and performance improvements but um at least the people i've talked to so far noted that the game feels better the gameplay feels better when you actually play it in season four so people are starting to feel good they're excited for what the level 40 reward can be and what the legend reward is 2k decides to drop a trailer for season four where i mean this looks so realistically unlike Dwayne Wade. Uh, but I guess the theme for season four is hunt for glory. Hunt, a tiger, hunt. And so the race began. I mean, season four dropped and content creators alike were all trying to race to be the first legend in NBA 2K22. While in other races, we knew who the front runners were weeks up until they actually hit legend. This time around, because the race was truncated like a 400 meter relay, we had no clue who it could be. Well, Ticino was trying to do his best effort until, until he got banned. Yup, this video right here is sponsored by Keeps. Hair loss, ugh, oh, this is such a horrible thing to happen. Good thing is, man, it's 2022, there's something you can do about it. And Keeps just happens to be a subscription service that helps men keep their hair. All right, so this is how you do it. You receive a personalized doctor-recommended plan. Everything you need as part of that plan is delivered to your door every three months, and then you just use the products, guys. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions, there's 24 seven support, and the treatments are clinically proven, so you can trust that it works. Most customers start seeing results within six months of starting the treatments. All right, but now take this in. When you hear that two out of every three men experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35, and that the Keeps physicians will help you select the right products and treatments for your specific condition and your hair goals. I mean, it kind of just sells itself, ladies and gentlemen. No cap, if you're worried about hair loss, you want to stimulate hair growth, Keeps is the way to go. If you're interested, click the top link in the description or go to keeps.com slash agent zero zero to get 50% off your first order. That's 50% off your first order, bro. So be proactive, click that top link in the description, but it's a huge thank you to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Oh, Z, yo, Loki, I'm glad you said you got the same thing, because uh, I thought for a second, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that I have it to you, Ticino. Uh, and that had Duke asking the question, WTF, lol, why? Well, until Ticino could get an answer as to why he was getting banned from the game, the reaction started to swarm in because some boosters over on the Asian servers managed to get legend. So while I thought the hype for it was gonna go crazy for a few days, it seemed as though like 12 hours into the season, someone already boosted and got it. And so it kind of spoiled the hype, but at least we knew what we were getting. NBA 2K22 leaks and Intel tweeted, legend reward leaked. And it is a photo of a parrot. If I'm not mistaken, this is a macaw. It's actually a very very colorful macaw. I've never seen a macaw this colorful in my life. Did you guys know the blue macaw is now extinct as of last year? I know, guys, sad fact. I'm sorry to hit you with the sad fact in the middle of this 2K news, but I, I thought you should know, you know? And if you're thinking what everybody else was thinking, a parrot? What the f does the parrot do for it to be a legend reward? Mal tweeted, bro, they gave us a bird. Double H tweeted, a booster hit legend on next gen. The only reward is a parrot that appears on your shoulder. This is officially the worst legend reward of all time. I'm left wondering how the legend reward is worse than the level 40 reward. So this is the parrot. I mean, it looks super colorful when you unlocked it, but deadass looks like a crow here with his 2K lighting. Dignify was hurt by the news. He said, nah, this hurts, man. This is awful. <laughs> you would have thought he lost somebody. <laughs> This really the legend reward that we grinded for is 2K trolling with a video of what the parrot actually does. Yes, guys, the parrot does things. All right. This is my house. Yo, chat. Oh, that's calm. That's calm. 
This is my house. <laughs> Oh, man, I'll be tight, dog. All right, man, if I put hours into this shit and grind it the way they grind it, I'll be tight right now. The reason I'm not tight is because I didn't grind for it. So I can look back and appreciate that I saved my time. This is my house. Hank the Tank tweeted, the 2K devs really sat at a table and said, let's make the legend reward a parrot that does absolutely nothing. They really thought this was a great idea, LMFAO. The only feature with the parrot is it talks at the end of each win on the backboard and says, ha, this is my house. <laughs> I might put that on my soundboard for my streams, man. In other news, uh, believe it or not, it wasn't all bad because if you hit level 40 on NBA 2K22 Season 4, well, you actually get a cooler reward than the parrot. You get a tiger. I know a lot of people have been asking since, what was it, 2K16 to bring the tigers back. We want animals. We want a petting zoo in 2K. I mean, even I've said it'd be cool to bring it back, and 2K actually did. NBA 2K22 leaks and Intel says you have to buy the tiger after hitting level 40, and the price goes up depending on the color. 35 to 50k so 2k gouging you for the vc even when you actually played and earned it but he drops a photo here of what it looks like in swags i wish he would have dropped the photo without a fucking playstation thing in the way i'm dropping a gameplay tomorrow on this channel subscribe if you want to see it where i jump into all the small little things 2k added in season four uh, so i guess there's the additional cool thing that there's a different color of tiger if you want to customize your tiger and you want different colors today you bring out the purple tiger tomorrow you bring out the white tiger i don't know guys it depends like they'll get you for your vc regardless right i spent 65k on uh the pop-ups the new pop-up shops in season four and i look hideous so yeah it just it just goes to show everything costs a lot of vc in nba 2k22 so then people went from unhappy to potentially happy to immediately unhappy when this was tweeted <laughs> you can't bring the tiger in the stage and the parrot is small lmfao horse 2k reward so for some reason the, the tiger can't follow you in stage which is odd because the people who would get the tiger are the type of people who would would play on the stage that'd be like if you bought a performance car but then bought cheap tires the people that have performance cars are the type of people to track their car but hey what do i know in other news there was some animations and other small additions made in season four this is max is nice you might be familiar with him on ig he said go get my zion run on 2k of <laughs> this is the most exaggerated zion run of all time how much did it cost how much did it cost 750 VC. That's that's not it's not bad. And here is him in mocap <laughs> actually doing the run. A lot of people called it corny. I personally think it's cool. And then going back to the first story because Tysino finally found out what it was that got him banned from season four. 2K really got me, boys. Perma ban, perma ban. Because I asked my stream to play no defense if they wanted to, so I could get to level 40 fast. Nah, but for real, is this 2K guy just clueless? He said, looking at my account, it's habitual, but I've never boosted ever before today. Day, lol huh to be honest with you bro when people know it's you they have a tendency to want to throw the game anyway it's one of two things they either go super try hard so they can get their tiktok clip or they just throw the game because they want to f around Tysino actually telling them to throw the game is why he got banned it should not be a perma ban the people that should be perma ban are the guys who got boosting parties together to get the legend award first they should be perma ban but 2k has yet to ban them part of me understands 2k has eight different seasons they need content for the eight different seasons how are they gonna drop eight seasons of content while also dropping an nba 2k23 in like seven months that seems like an almost impossible task considering they're not hiring more people everything's so like divided they have the current gen and the next gen but they have to collaborate and tag team on all this new content their solution seems to have been to like they came they have all the content but they gate it so they don't give it to us at launch they give it to us over the course of the year which uh, listen i'm not opposed to at least it feels pseudo new so it makes it gives you a reason to want to hop on and play and to be fair i've had more fun playing in season four than i did in season three season three was an absolute disaster but the reality is is when 2k truncates it in every single season there's a new level 40 reward well first of all let's think it through now that people have reached legend at least the tryhards who've done it for the first four seasons they've got legend what is their new inspiration for wanting to hit level 40 unless it's a dope level 40 reward like the tiger in my opinion it's a cool reward ah uh, that's a great question agent what i think is gonna happen is the people who play 2k non-stop are gonna have way less of a reason to want to play 2k now and the only thing that can incentivize
incentivize them to want to keep going is a good level 40 reward for four more seasons and the likelihood 2k actually does that i think is low i think seasonal content makes sense and even ea has been rumored to potentially just drop a game and do seasons like the likes of rainbow six valorant league of legends plenty of games have that model 2k is like dipping their toe in the seasonal content but they're not committing to it so I, I don't know what 2k expects to get from this test that is nba 2k 22 but if people are disappointed with what they've done with seasons is because they didn't commit to it and they just dipped their toes for what is worth season four has given me a new reason to want to play the game and last time i got on i actually had fun wow guys i know right sound the round of applause man the crowd is going wild agent enjoyed himself playing 2k but again keeping people on the game is like people always want to improve and get better and rank up and there has to be new content like it's a combination of things that keeps people hooked on wanting to play the game more 2k has some of those things intact but some of those things are just missing in action let me know how y'all feel about season four so far how y'all feel about the gameplay the new content the legend reward in the comments down below if you guys enjoy let's get this video to 10,000 likes drop a like to help out otherwise there's a video on the screen right now and if you don't do none of those i'm live on twitch right now so you might as well click it Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.